Hello, fuckos, and welcome to this episode 28 of the Chris Hunter Comedy Podcast with me, Chris Hunter. Hello, how are you doing? Are you well? I hope you've had a nice week, because I've had a pretty good week. Um, sadly, it's still hot as balls at the moment, and it's just, I'm, I'm you know, I'm getting sick of it, not gonna lie. My little weak, well, little, my tubby ass weak English buddy is starting to think, you know what, this heat, it's not for me. But alas, I'll get through it. I'll survive. Today, there was a ray of hope because I got out of the car and I was, I was, was this, can you, is that clouds? Yes, it is clouds. And wait a minute. What do I feel upon my arm? One, two, no, that's four. Four drops of rain. That's right, folks. H2 motherfucking O fell out the sky, brushed my arm, grazed me, if you will. And then that was it. No more. And it comes to lunchtime. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's sunny, it's blue, what is going on? Where did the clouds go? I literally couldn't see any sky other than cloud this morning. And I'm confused. I don't understand science and uh, weather and such. I'm not a... Uh, I'm, 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 not, I'm not a weather person. What are they called now? Ge- ge- Jimmy? Ge- not geologists. I forgot what they're called. Not gynecologists. Anyway, yeah, write it on a letter if you know the name of the weather people. Genealogist? No. Anyway, yes, so that's... <laughs> <laughs> what am I waffling on about now? Yeah, that was me. That was the rain and shit this morning. But today's been a good day. I happily before was sat in work just doing my job and I got handed a letter. I opened this letter and it says, without going into too much detail, Dear Mr. Hunter, congratulations, you've been given a promotion. <sighs> That's right, folks. I am no longer a junior in my position. That's right. Because for those of you who don't know, I make video games as my professional job. I am a... Well, as before today, I was a junior environment artist. So I make all the stuff in games that you can see, like, you know, rooms and props and shelving units, all kinds of things that are within levels. Um, and today I got promoted, so I'm no longer a junior. That means I'm a full artist now. I'm a fully fledged 3D artist. So that's, that's awesome news. I'm really happy about that. It's been a couple of years in the making and it, it's just opens up the future for me, which is great. So it should be a bit easier for me now when I move to Japan eventually to get some work because I won't be a junior anymore. So yay, go me. I'm happy. I'm very happy. Um, yeah, so, but enough gloating, enough gloating. I have had something this week that me and Charlie have both got pretty obsessed with. We went to Costa, uh, and we got the cold brew that they've started doing. Oh, that's nice. Right, it's cold brew coffee, right? Uh, so instead of making it like a normal coffee, what you do is you, you, I think you make it cold and it takes like the bitterness out of the, the coffee itself. And then they serve it with whipped milk, Like whipped milk sounds strange because you think whipped cream. Okay. That's common, but whipped milk, but honestly, it's so good. It's just like a froth. It almost looks like a beer head on top of your cold coffee. And then you mix it in. Oh, nom, 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 nom. so good. And we have it with a shot of caramel. Oh, dude. I mean, really. Um, but we also went to the burger joint, as we always do every Saturday. We go to cafe at the end of the universe in Warrington. Not sponsored. Um, <laughs> and we had this week's burger of the week, which was the Make America Great Again burger, which apparently they only made because they wanted to use a gif of uh, Donald Trump dancing like a goof. <laughs> but it's, it was a nice burger. It was a classic bacon double chi. It had some ranch dressing on it. And it had bacon onion rings. So instead of having, like, you know, batter around the onion... It was bacon, and it was good. Oh, nom nom. Damn good, damn good burger. And I'm happy to see that, folks, they have uh, they've made a ton of money on the Dark Side of the Spoon fundraiser that they were doing to start the dessert place, and they're going to open it, and I can't wait to do that. I can tell you guys all about it. You're probably sick of hearing about the place, but I don't care. I'm going to tell you every damn week until you go. If you live near Warrington, by the way, do yourself a favor. I'm not just saying this. Genuinely, the best burgers I've ever had. And I've been to some burger places, you know what I'm saying? You don't get a gut like this not enjoying the occasional burger, okay? So, yeah, I'd, I'd go there, definitely. Warrington Market, get on it. Get on it! Um, now, I've I've got a friend at the moment who is working over in Switzerland. I want to say Switzerland. In Geneva, wherever that is. Switzerland, yeah. Um, he's working there, and he is... I feel kind of bad for him because he's doing an awesome thing at the moment. He does like filmmaking, then he goes over there and teaches for a bit every year. But at the moment, he, like he's really into Twitch and streaming and stuff. But he's at a place at the is he's, he's at a place right now where he's got really bad internet, so he can't even watch streams properly, and it's just destroying his data. And he's there for like a month, and he's already used eight gigs of his data. Oh, it's not good. So I feel bad for him. 
And what doesn't help is that, you know, his, his other half, she just started streaming. She's gone really well, getting really strong with it. And then for some reason, somebody shared a thing about her onto 4chan. And it ended up being full of trolls. And I felt so bad for her. It's like an hour and a half of trolls. So she'll be back, though. <clears throat> she'll be back. But, uh, yeah, so that's just super infuriating when that kind of shit happens. But he, when he gets back, I'm sure they'll do more stuff together anyway. Because I love watching them, guys. They're so good. Um... Right, so what else was I going to say? Yes, Char speaking of streaming tonight, Charlie is going to be playing a game, right? It's a scary game. If you don't know Charlie, like, she she loves horror films, but when it comes to playing scary games, she is a massive, massive coward. So it's a nice change to know that she's actually going to play a scary game tonight. She said she wants me to, to swap with her if she gets too scared. I've said, no, I ain't tapping that, love. If you get too scared, that's on you. <laughs> um... But yeah, so it, it's what's it called? It's called Bendy and the Ink Machine. Which, to be fair, it doesn't look scary, but that's the idea of it. You see, it's meant to be in the style of like old fifties Disney, um, and so it looks pretty cool. But I, I I'm kind of looking forward. I'm not going to lie. I'm looking forward to seeing her scared because it doesn't happen often. So yeah, it should be. Uh, it should be good. Um, by the way, I, this guy over here, Chris. Chico, Captain Me, I've been asked to go on a podcast. That's right, the folks. The first time. I will be a guest on somebody else's podcast. How cool is that? I'm so excited. I'm not going to tell you which one it is yet. I'm going to leave you guys to guess. But as a hint, I have mentioned them as a recommendation in a past episode. So, hmm, who could it be? I've mentioned a few podcasts. Um, I won't give you any clues, but I'll see if you guys guess before next week. Also, in case it falls through, I don't want to say the name just in case, because you never know, do you? Sometimes things just don't align, and that's fine. You know, that's how it is. I, I remember doing it in the past, you see, with it. I did a YouTube video um, back when I was doing YouTube vlogs, uh, which I might start doing again. I don't know yet. But I was doing YouTube vlogs, and I was talking about the fact that I was going to a gig, and after the gig, I was going to be speaking to a guy from like a Japanese music website. He asked me to have a chat with him and stuff on an interview and whatnot. Um... And that, that fell through. So I thought, you know what? I'm not going to fully announce stuff just in case things fall through. I doubt they will, but just in case, you never know. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's going to be really cool. I'll leave you guys to guess. If you uh, if you think you know which podcast I'm talking about, send me a tweet or drop a message or do whatever you want to do. Uh, and I will tell you if you're right or not, because that is exciting to me, to know that you guys are actively thinking about who it might be, what it might be, who it might be with, and what it might be about. Um Anyway, speaking of podcasts and such, we're going to be back in a minute after a word from our sponsors. Do you love the idea of being high, but you don't want to take drugs? Drugs are illegal, right? They're really bad, right? Well, boy, do we have the product for you. Uncle Jimmy's Jelly Beans are not drugs. Not drugs at all. But they might contain something that old Jimmy likes to think of as magic snow dust. So you can feel guilt-free. What's that, officer? Am I taking drugs? No, sir. I'm simply enjoying a nice jelly bean. Why am I up this scaffolding? Because I like the view, and my God, do I want more of those jelly beans. Uncle Jimmy's jelly beans. Try them now, before the cops find out. And throw old Jimmy in the slammer. Okay, you've had your fun. On to the real sponsors. So do you guys like video games, board games, or card games? Do you like geek culture and you want to hang out with other people who share the same passions as you? Well, if you live near St. Helens or the surrounding areas, you're in luck. Because Bar Zucoid is a brand new geek and gaming lounge located in St. Helens Town Centre on Clawton Street. They've got everything that your geeky little heart could ever desire. There's games, food, drinks, events, you name it, they've probably got it. So, head on down to Bar Zucoid and have yourself some fun out of the sun. Okay, folks, now I've been looking at more Japan stuff recently. I'm really, really, like, I've been thinking a lot about the future, you know, about we're going to move there eventually. Hopefully within a couple of years. I'm not certain yet, but that's the plan. So I've been looking at things like apartments and stuff, you know, obviously nothing super right now, but just something to try and give me an idea, try and give me a gauge as to what I'm aiming for, where I'm aiming for, what size house and stuff you know so it's not like here we can say yeah i'll get a house that's fine you know two up two down whatever no 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 in japan <laughs> tokyo especially it can be so crazy like you can get somewhere really small and it'll still be really expensive if it's really bang in the center of tokyo but if you go just a little just a little bit outside just a little bit out you get something much bigger for cheaper and it's just it's insane how different it can be but you know what i've been looking around because i want to find that gem i know there's one in there somewhere and i want to find it i want to find the place 
that is big and cheap, all in one nice go. I did find an apartment that was, you ready for this folks? Five square meters. Yeah, just let that sink in for a second. Like five square meters. That is not big. <laughs> that is not remotely big. Um, to be fair, it was part of a shared house situation thing, but still, that's like that's, that's that's not good. What I'm looking for is a house, if possible. But I don't know. We'll see what we can afford. It's a pain in the ass. But I've found some cool sites that can help me out. Uh, I've also found some vloggers I've been looking around on online and stuff. And I um. There's, there's, a, there's some vloggers I've been watching a lot of this week who, weirdly, when we first saw them, we just didn't like them. And I don't know why it was. I think now I've realised, months later, that the reason we didn't like them is because they're basically me and Charlie. <laughs> um, we now love them, or at least I do. I, I was, I'm assuming Charlie does as well, but I, I watch them a lot more. Some guys online called Simon and Martina. They live in Japan. They used to live in Korea. They're off the tits. They're fantastic people. And I like watching the videos. It makes me happy. And But they live in a really cool area just outside of Tokyo. And they've got a nice house. And I thought, you know what? I want to live somewhere like that. So I might even check that neighborhood out. We'll have to see, won't we? We'll have to see. I forgot the name of the place right now. Um, but it's it's Kichi Joji, I think. Something like that. But I'm going to look out there. Um, but speaking of Japan, we've been trying to plan some stuff for the next time we go back for Halloween. So we're going back to Hakone, that really nice place where we went last time with the hot springs. Um, and I've just finally, literally just before recording the podcast, I finally found the name of the snack little cake thing that me and Charlie had. That was amazing. And it was closed the day we went back. And we were so gutted. And the, the thing is called... Um, oh, uh, what's it called now? Hakone Manju. And oh nom 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 nom! It's a type of uh, little cake thing with like white. What's it called? That it's like white bean paste, which sounds awful, but trust me, it's freaking delicious. You guys need to try these like old school Japanese snacks. Um, speaking of which, that leads me on to this week's Japanese word of the week, 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 which is wagashi, wagashi. Which is Japanese traditional sweets, uh, things like dango. You know when you see those little like rice dumpling things on a on a stick with some sticky stuff on it. That's the kind of stuff, and uh, things that've got like red bean paste on them normally, and some kind of jelly. Oh, nom nom nom, so tasty. Uh, anyway, this week's recommendation. I recommend you guys go out uh, and try the Costa Cold Brew Coffee, but get it with whipped cream and get it with caramel syrup. All right, get all that stuff together. Thank me later. Fucking delicious. Not sponsored, by the way. Just really enjoyed it and thought, you know what? This has really cooled me down in this summer heat. You guys might enjoy it too. Um, so don't forget, guys, if you've got any questions you want to ask me or any, uh, any abuse you want to hear about me, you know where to find me by now. I'm on social media, all of them, I think. Um, Facebook, I'm Chris Hunter Comedy. Uh, Twitter, I'm at Chris Hunter Com, short for comedy. On Instagram, Chris Hunter Comedy. YouTube, guess what? Chris Hunter Comedy. Um, so, yeah, you can find me there. If you've got any questions or any sort of suggestions or anything at all just hit me up you know I, it's nice to know if people listen if you're listening right now and you want to say hello just drop me a tweet or whatever you know it's nice to be kept in the loop you know what i mean so also if you liked what you hear do me a favor do us do us a solid just drop me a, a sub you know subscribe on itunes or soundcloud or whatever you listen on uh and even a rating would be nice and a share tell your friends let them be bored by me as well so thanks a lot for listening folks i'll see you all next week have a lovely week bye bye now <laughs>